half. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as you do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great news out of the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see into newsletters. Hit newsletters right on the right-hand side. You're going to see the opening call, and you can get the opening call for one month for $149. Six months is $695, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And one full year for $1,195, which you save $593 at 33%. Now, they all come, folks, with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Basil has done about, oh, my God, he's done probably 14, 15 um, archives for his subscribers. Uh, you get it all. If it works for you, awesome. If it doesn't work for you, 29 days, tell us you want your money and you're off to the races. But you're going to have a great newsletter, folks. Check it out. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing good. Yourself? Very nicely, thank you. And uh, this is, a, as you mentioned, this is a very important moment. You know, in, the, in my methodology in the Chapman Wave, we're always looking for a buy signal from the bottom that gets upgraded to a buy mode. And the implication is, as soon as it's designated buy mode, you should have at least four higher peaks. So in this particular instance, we made, if we don't make a higher high today, we've got, uh, what, 40 minutes or something to go? Yes. At uh, 40,077 40, level that was hit yesterday, if we don't do that, we've made a peak D. And that fourth highest peak, peak D, is where other things can happen. And this is what we're monitoring. Look, if I go to the monthly chart, we've already started a leg D. So that's, that, that's kind of the prerequisite. So this is, this is very important because I don't actually have any technical indicators here on the daily chart that is negative. We have... We've been long. We've added to our long position in the Dow. But we also start a little insurance policy because at this point, the nine period moving average is green line in the daily chart. Let me get the arrow right there. That green line is still way above the 14, and the price is way above it. And although it's at peak D, this particular sector right here of using nine and 14 period moving averages of the price is very positive. If you look at the MACD, this is the daily MACD, the moving average convergence divergence, still very strong. If you look at this thin little gray line, you can just see it over there. That's the relative strength index, and it's pulled back a little bit, but it's it's still acting very well. If you look at the stochastic, one of my rules of thumb is that a stochastic over 8% is good. A stochastic over 90% is very good. A stochastic that is flat, that's the little, the green and red lines right here. Yes. The stochastic that holds steady in a sideways movement, is that's what you want when you're in a bull phase. If you look at the unbalanced volume, the little blue line, that's making a little M-shaped double top, but it's still holding very well. So I don't have anything here. So what I need to do is to say, what are my indicators? What would what would tell me that we can actually not just pull back? We've had one day pullbacks before, but it has to be in a bear phase. You get the S and P and the Dow that are heavily uh, negative early in the morning, and that follows through to the end of the day, and then it follows a second day. We've hardly had second days. Look at these red candles until since we made the low back in April. We've only had one big red candle in the Dow. So I'm saying it's price that I'm looking at. If I see that the, um, if there is a, a, a re, let's put it this way. Let's go all the way to Thursday. This is after the NVIDIA, and I'll talk about the SMH in a moment. Okay. In, if we're looking at the NVIDIA, that's a clue. But we've also got the Fed tomorrow. So what I'm saying is if on Thursday at about noon, if the, the Dow is down 180 to 220 points from where we are right now, that is at 39,854. And if the SMHs, the SMH right here, that, which is trading, same thing. Look, the 90 is over the 14, the price is over, but we've got a peak. Sorry, this should have been an F. Sorry, that's an F right there. I notated it incorrectly. That is an F. And if the SMHs, Whatever the result is, I look at the price. I don't care what's said. It's how the market reacts. So if the SMHs at 234 right now are actually trading under two, I'd say 229, 227 by Friday or Monday, that says, okay, now we've got a short-term top. And if I look at the weekly charts here again, 
the 90s over the 14. So we've used Microsoft, which we've had since the October 30th low, uh, where it made the low. We went in at 338 just after it started its rally. And I said that this is should be a benchmark in many ways. It's got the Dow, it's got the S&P, it's got the NASDAQ, it's got the, uh, sure. excuse me, and it's got the AIQ, which the the uh, basically it's got the AI sector as well. So Microsoft just made an all-time high today. It went to 432.97. Now, in the way that I calculate this, this will be a leg D in the weekly chart. It's a leg E in the monthly chart. So all of these are at a point where they could have a breather, but I don't actually have the signals to say. What is happening, sir? Thank you. That if if the if Microsoft and I like the semis, Microsoft, the Dow, which will be including the S and P and the QQQ, I want to see what happens by Thursday. If they are about two three percent lower, that says okay, now we've made some kind of a short term top, and we need to check what's happening. But as we're looking at it right this minute, everything looks pretty good. <clears throat> so it's price that's going to determine the trend, and at this point, <laughs> we'll see what happens because. Um, Oh, the other thing you mentioned a little moment ago was the fixed index. Look how interesting this is. <clears throat> I had a left side, right side price time match. That's a technique that I developed a long time ago with the number of bars on the left. Yes. The number of bars on the right and then come down in the same number of bars. Well, at 12.40 on, on March the 21st, the um, VIX went from 12.40 all the way to 21.36 on the 19th. And it's come down and three days ago was the test of the left side low and it broke just underneath it. But here you can see at 11.98, um, if in fact what we see is the volatility index, I'm including that now as well. If on Thursday, the volatility index has started to move to the 1410 level, just to get into the 14s at 11.99, that's, that's, a, that's a very heavy turnaround to the upside. I'd even say the 13s, starting going to 13s, that's going to say to us, okay, now we can have a pullback. So it's those factors that I'm looking at. I don't want to get in the way of it. That's why I said we've still kept our long positions, but we have had some kind of insurance just in case we start on the downside. So very important moment that we're looking at, and even including the TLT, which is the bonds. Bonds have rallied uh, somewhat. Yields have come down a little bit. There's nothing here telling me... You know, it, based on yields, that anything serious is going to happen. And using that same technique, if you look at the um, the monthly chart of the yields, you can see there was a, a huge reversal from the 179.70 March of 2020 top. And now we've gone below that left side, right side price time match. We've gone a little bit below. And the trend so far for the TLT looks like it's down. How it changes is going to be very important. You know, it's so tough, Basil, staying long. I mean, I'm still positive, but man, this has been one run, huh? You know? And, and there have been shows, yeah, because it's become more and more selective. Those round numbers that I was looking at, that's another factor that's important. Yes, you're going to love it. Well, thanks so much, Basil. You have a great one and a safe one. Stay right there, Thank folks. Thank you very much, Tom. You too. We'll come right back. Mm -hmm.